Hello, my name is Ryan Mason. I'm a project manager here at AIDA. I work with the customers and sales rep through the build and installation uh, of the press projects. I've been working with AIDA for a little over two years now. I will be demoing our 110 ton gap frame style servo press. It features AIDA's new and exclusive Allen Bradley uh, control for the small servo press. The control features a 12 inch color HMI screen. Uh, Allen Bradley motion controller, Allen Bradley guard logic safety controller, and Allen Bradley compact logic PLC. It works seamlessly with other Allen Bradley equipment such as feeders, transfers, and conveyors. The new design features a upgraded servo motor that is 5 to 10 percent faster. Our new aluminum extruded side guards that make it easy to see into the die space as well as can be easily modified at the customer's site. The design has our new electronic overload protection system that actively monitors the torque applied through the entire stroke of the press. Included with the control is eight channels of PLS, upgradable to 24, eight channels of die protection, upgradable to 16, also included is 200 job recipe. And it features our OptiTouch run buttons on the side of the HMI. The run buttons are no longer on a T-stand. In the control, I've loaded our crank motion program, which mimics a mechanical press. The slide will run at 100% of the velocity through the entire stroke. I've now loaded up our silent blanking program, which will slow down towards the bottom of the stroke. In this case, at 20 millimeters above bottom dead center, we'll slow down to 10% of the velocity to reduce the impact uh, on the material. In this case, we're seeing a reduced forward and reverse tonnage due to the uh, reduced impact. Uh, we can also improve our part quality uh, through this slowdown. Now I've loaded up our pendulum mode where the slide will reverse direction mid-stroke and not go all the way through top dead center. This will help improve our parts per minute. So with this program, we're running at 70 SPM, but we're seeing a parts per minute of 121 because we're not spending the extra time to go through top dead center. Next, I'll load up our multi-strike program. In this program, we're gonna go through bottom dead center three times. You'll see here we go one millimeter past bottom dead center, then reverse and go through bottom again. I then go one millimeter up and again reverse. Uh, so go through the bottom dead center a total of three times. And again, this is to help reduce spring back of the material. Next is our draw repeat program where we reverse the slide multiple times on the downstroke. We stay engaged with the material when we're reversing and this allows you to do a deeper drawn part on a uh, lower tonnage press. By reversing we give the capacitor bank additional time to recharge and maintain the uh, energy it needs for the full stroke. <laughs> 